today is Saturday and the assault from the chemtrail planes has been intense. It's been all morning long from early this morning and uh, I had a dream that there was something happening today and so I would say all this is because of whatever's happening. I mean, this is the worst we've had it yet. No matter where I went today, it was just heavy, heavy trailing. It was bad. Just depressing. Because they not only did they destroy our seeds, our water, 90% of the water on this planet is ruined. The seeds are all genetically destroyed. Unless you've been saving your seeds for a long time and a lot of people in India have seed saved. We, um... really don't have any protection from the chemicals and the genetically altered foods which are just chemicals. The genetically altered foods contain um, pesticides and all of their horrors. Then they go, oh, why is America so fat? Why is everybody so fat? Not one of these clouds is natural. It's all chemicals. And I found a Center for Disease Control document that said this place, MK Ballistics, I think I'm saying it right, had in 2004 had two workers come down with thyroid disease. And guess what they made? They made these hunting season too. The morons don't know that they shouldn't be doing that. Well, maybe at some time we'll have to, but right now you don't have to, so let the animals live. Yes, MK Ballistics. They make the chemicals that go into these clouds. Or at least they did in 2006 still. It was in four that they were brought the Center for Disease Control in. And in 2006 the report was filed. And uh, that company still exists, so they don't admit to making those cloud flares. That's what they're called, flares, which are, they expel them. But there's absolutely no reason for this, except for the fact that the energy is flowing in, and they don't want us to have it. They don't want us to see what's going on in the skies. And this is downright evil. And you want to know how else I know that it's evil? When they, we had that tropical storm come blowing in, Irene, and um, I thought it was a man-made storm. And then I'm down at work, and I look and I see the chemtrail plane stitching up the holes because the sun was breaking the storm up. That's how I know that that's, this is not in our best interest, because why would they try to keep the storm intact? Why would they keep a storm that they knew was going to devastate everyone that it hit? Why would they keep it intact? <laughs> they're despicable. They've been despicable for quite some time. But they're now this. Now this. And people are worrying about Wall Street. I mean, yeah, that's kind of important, but what's this? Huh? This isn't important when it's right over your head and they're dropping uh, strontium 
on you and aluminum and whatever else is in these clouds because I could only access documentation for the strontium and the aluminum. But you know that there's more than that. And then I have documentation showing how long they've been doing it, but of course not to this magnitude. This is a whole new ball game because they just don't want us to have the truth. And the truth isn't the global warming. Of course, the energy is going to warm the planet, but <laughs> they don't want us to get any of this energy because this is what's going to change us and allow us to make it through. See, I'm tucked in. I can't see, but yesterday I had this. And then there was another source of what looked like a sun over in this area. But they really, they don't want us to see the sun. They don't want us to see the moon. The moon is there. The moon isn't there. The sky is clear. There's a ton of stars and no moon. And then early in the morning, there's the moon. And it's in a different shape. And <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's your imagination. Well, I'm not 12 anymore, and I'm certainly not 7, and I don't believe in Santa Claus. And that guy, he's not Santa Claus. And these clouds aren't our fairy godmothers. <laughs> and look at the black in there. It, it, it. Later tonight, there'll be a black cloud that comes in that I call the night cloud. And sometimes when I'm leaving from work, I'll come in and I'll see an opening in the black night cloud and there's light underneath. We have light underneath the cloud, even late at night. So what does that say to you? Are we being imaged? They have the technology to image our skies. <laughs> They have the keys to reality, and they are using them.